Hi and welcome to my channel. So there are so many different pathways that you can use to move to the UK but you need to make sure that you're aware of the best pathway for your personal circumstances. So in this video I'm going to talk to you about the easiest way to move to the UK in 2023 and look let me just put this straight the easiest way doesn't always mean it's the best way for you but at least we'll be talking about the easiest way to move to the UK so if you're new to the channel it's such a pleasure to have you here if you're a returning subscriber I appreciate your time um I really hope that you're finding value from these videos and I'm glad that in fact many people have gone through these videos and have been able to not only move to the UK but actually progress in their careers in this country so which is absolutely amazing and before i get started i'll be doing a live session um at the end of this month where i'll be talking about why you should move to the uk 100 percent in 2023 what are the advantages of moving to the uk 2023 you know what are the pathways that you can use to move to the UK in 2023, you know, and then I'll also be talking about career progression, which is something that I'm truly and really passionate about. In case you're new here, you don't know who I am. My name is Melvis. I also studied in the UK as an international student. So I studied nursing. So I currently work as an advanced nurse practitioner for the NHS and career progression is something that I'm really passionate about. So I have a private coaching program where I support nurses, carers, student nurses with career progression in the UK. So if you're a carer in the UK and you're thinking, oh my goodness, what can I do with myself? I want to change my job. I want to progress into nursing. I want to do medicine. I want non-clinical healthcare jobs. What can I do? Then Mike can support you with that. So if you check in the comment section, you will see a link to my newsletter. You can join that newsletter so that I can send you information to attend that live session. And also, I send important updates, you know, about career pathways in the UK, any changes that happen, as well as, obviously, for my live session, like I said, you'll be able to get the link so that you can attend that session live. Better still, if you need support, if you need me to support you, you know, to have that individualized and personalized support, then consider joining my private coaching program because that's where, you know, we're really able to interact and then you know, get to see what is, what is it that you're trying to achieve. Because look, there's a lot of information online. There's a lot of information on YouTube. But what you need is information that is tailored to you, to your own specific needs and to your own, you know, traits and character. Because there's nothing more overwhelming than the amount of information that is online, but yet implementation is so, so tough. And look, I'm calling this year, 2023, the year for implementation so if you make sure that you join um my newsletter check the comment section i'm going to drop a link there once you join it obviously um i'll send you that email with the link um to that live session so that you can attend so again let's get started like i was saying you know the easiest way to move not only to the uk to any country basically is through the student visa look this is a very very powerful pathway and i'm going to tell you why this pathway is the easiest and why um i'm not saying obviously this is how you need to move to the uk but like i said you've got to understand what your own personal circumstances are make sure that you're choosing the best pathway for you so this particular pathway um, one of the main reasons why it is so good is because um it is almost 100% guaranteed, basically. If you're somebody who has all the requirements, you can literally sit now and say, I want to be in the UK, you know, in September 2023 as a student. And look, you will be here. Obviously, it depends on the course that you want. If you want to study a course like nursing, then the pathways are different. The earlier you start applying, obviously, the better because some of the courses have certain exams that you need to do. There are some conditions that you need to fulfill. So you need to start applying as early as possible. And talking about these, I've got um, four carers in my private coaching program, which I'm so excited about. They moved to the UK last year, so that was 2022. And they're starting their nurse training this year you know, in, in January 2023. So it is so amazing that these nurse, these carers have been so driven, Um, you know, they have been so determined, you know, to transition, you know, from carers to nurses that has been so impressive. So I've supported them through that journey and, you know, they're going to be starting their nursing course, you know, this January here in the UK. So I'm really, really excited. And I think that if you're watching these videos, if you're, you know, watching my videos, Career progression is something that you must be considering because, you know, not only does it give you that confidence that you need, it also enables you to be able to earn more. And look, in a country like the UK, there's a crisis right now. Prices have gone up for everything. You want to make sure that you're, 
increasing your chances of earning more money in a way that you don't have to work you know 100 hours a week because long term it is not sustainable so you want to make sure that you're progressing going higher up in the band so that you can earn more money without working so many hours and this is what i'm all about that's why i'm so passionate about this career progression so if you come as a student these are some of the advantages obviously that you have but you need to make sure that you've got the finances the major challenge with coming to the uk as a student is finance you know money have you got money for the tuition fees because most universities will charge between thirteen thousand to seventeen thousand pounds per year but look i've seen people literally pay um you know i've heard about people who are paying um for for certificate of sponsorship to come as carers and people are paying ten thousand pounds some are paying fifteen thousand pounds some are paying twenty thousand pounds and um, what i'll say is if you've got the money because yes some people do have the money if you have that money my advice is Pay for a course and study instead. Come as a student if you've got the money. Because when you come to the UK as a student, you're going to have the right to work as well as studying. So if you've already got the money and you want to come as a carer, rather I would come instead to study nursing, for example. Obviously, it depends on your background as well and all that. So you need to be really strategic. You know, when you're using this pathway to come as a student, don't just choose a random course. Check the employability rate. I've actually done a video talking about the best courses to study in the UK. So make sure that, you know, you're guaranteed a job literally at the end of the course. So you want to make sure that you check out that video because if you're studying, you know, you want to study a course that is going to help you get a job in the end. Also, one of the reasons I really like the student um, pathway is because, you know, Boris, there used to be this pathway where after studying in the UK, upon successful completion of your course, you could have a post-study visa, which was two years for you to work, you know, you could work full time and also um, use that time to find a job. But this was topped by Theresa May and, um, you know, Prime Minister David Cameron, I think it was 2010. But Boris Johnson, when he became Prime Minister, he changed all of this and he's brought it back. So right now, and that's what I've seen, student numbers in the UK skyrocketing last year to over 400,000 student visas being granted with, you know, over 600,000 um, applications from, you know, international students. So you can see how the numbers are staggering. More and more people are coming to the UK now than ever through the student visa route and that's because there are many pathways that you can use to remain in the UK once you've completed your course which means that this is such a good pathway to use and while there is a carer pathway the student pathway is always stable it's there 24 7 all the times it can never ever be scrapped but when you look at pathways such as the carer pathway that is currently ongoing they are going to stop it once I've recruited enough people for that particular role so all the other pathways kind of come and go but the one that remains steadfast every single time is the student pathway and that is why it's so powerful yes it is expensive it's not the cheapest way to move to the uk but like i say if you've got the money rather than pay for example um to move as a carer for me it is better to move as a student because you'll be able to work you'll be able to study and if you choose the perfect course if you choose the right course that has say a hundred percent employability rate in the uk then you've done the best thing for you so again if you haven't joined my newsletter i want you to check the comment section make sure that you join that newsletter because when I'm sending out that information, you want to make sure that you're getting the information. But most importantly, you need to make sure that you're implementing. Because look, like I said, there's information overload online. Watching video after video after video, I expect some implementation from you. You need to watch those videos and then do something about it. Because if you watch and you do nothing, well, I've wasted my time. You've wasted your time. And so we're getting nowhere. So if you've got any questions, I want to leave them in the comment section. I want you to also leave a comment as a Melvis. I will implement because what are your personal circumstances? You know, what are you currently working on? Are you trying to move to the UK as a carer? Are you already in the UK? What is your situation? How have you found the process and the journey? And like I said, you know, in my private coaching program, I support with career progression in the UK. So if you're looking for those, you know, clinical healthcare jobs, non-clinical healthcare jobs, you're a nurse, you're thinking, oh my God, you know, I want a nurse anesthetist. I want to become a nurse. Nurse anesthetist want to become a nurse practitioner. You know, I'm an advanced nurse practitioner myself, so I have worked incredibly hard um, to progress in my own career, which enables you not only to earn more money, but it gives you a lot of confidence in your practice and 
many more opportunities that you wouldn't otherwise have if you are you know not progressing or you're just stuck so if you're a carer yes it is a fantastic way to get to the uk but what happens to you once you're here is what i'm really interested in because look moving to the uk as far as i'm concerned is not an achievement in itself it is what you do with yourself once you get to this beautiful country that really matters because look if you're not careful if you're not somebody who is determined it can be very very demoralizing it can be very challenging once you get here if you don't have the right support and you don't have the right network and you don't have the right guidance that you need you know if you don't have that guidance you may end up in the same situation and in the same position for years and years which look is not necessary if you simply implement all these different, you know, strategies and all these different things, you will find that, you know, you're going to have huge and immense success. And that's what, you know, I'm all about. So again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I do want you to hit subscribe right now. Turn on that notification button because you want to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. Also, um, remember joining the newsletter because if you're watching this video obviously and you like videos like this you like content like this then you're definitely going to be interested in the live session that i'm going to be doing so again like the video it lets me know that um you enjoy content like this and obviously i should do more because otherwise you know it's difficult to understand what is going to help you more what's going to be more relevant and i really only do videos when you know depending on the questions that i'm getting asked and depending on you know the, the 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 feedback that i'm getting just to make sure that they are relevant also if you've got a question that you think is very private you don't want to leave it on youtube for the whole world to see you can also use my newsletter to send it over and then obviously i can reply you know i can take you know uh, once i reply to that then obviously you can then get into that implementation but like i said if you're part of a private coaching program then better still i can then support you one-to-one -one. we have weekly live sessions um every thursdays where you can also interact with other members of the program and um, we have our nursing community hub which is available 24 7 and um, you can just chat there if you've got any questions you can ask there so again there's quite a lot of support we've got courses um you know i've created courses that walk you step by step through the different career progression pathways there are actually 15 nursing career progression pathways in that course so if you want to progress into a specialist nurse a diabetes nurse a research nurse a district nurse a nurse practitioner a nurse manager like 15 different you know specialist nursing or you know management or you know just nursing career pathways. so again that's stuff that you want to make sure that you check out because um, not only is it going to be relevant but it's going to enable you to continue to excel to thrive um in your practice so like i was saying coming as a student obviously it is not the cheapest way um to travel but it is the easiest way and look i don't see this ending anytime soon all the other pathways are temporary they are not here to stay you know the carer pathway for example they are going to be closing it once they've recruited enough people for that particular pathway so but if you're wanting to come as a student you need to choose the right course you need to make sure that you're well informed don't just choose because the truth is that 99 percent of international students you know don't really get jobs for the thing that i've studied and that's why many people are coming on a student visa but when they get to the uk they're looking for carer jobs to switch into so if you choose the right course from day one before you move to the uk incredibly important and obviously if what you want is nursing if it's healthcare related then i can support you with that journey if it's not um then obviously i'm sure that you can see find the right support um, and the right mentorship and the right guidance from people who've got experience in that particular area so it is really important that you get the right advice um for yourself so coming as a student like i've said it's the easiest way to move to the uk it will continue to be the easiest way um but it's not necessarily obviously the best way for you but that's up to you to decide depending on your own personal circumstances to make sure that you are aware so um again just keep doing your research you know leave a comment below what is your personal circumstance right now what are you trying to achieve how are you trying to move to the uk if you're not here if you're already in the uk how did you move here like i said for me i came in as a student you know i studied nursing and then i stayed here after that and i've progressed you know in my career ever since so you know i'm hoping 
um, to see you during that live session that I'm going to be doing um, at some point in this January. I'm going to send you the, the information. If you've already joined my newsletter, obviously I'll send it um, over to you just to make sure that you can save that date and be ready. Um, thank you so much. Keep watching the videos um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.